What is mind to muscle connection? Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Rumba Guthro, here to teach the world how to live lean. And I know this is a term you've heard before, mind to muscle connection, but it's kind of vague. And some people ask me, what does that really mean? And then also, how can I utilize it or learn to use it? So on today's episode, I thought I would share with you guys what the mind to muscle connection actually means. And then also some techniques that you can start to use right away in your lifting workouts to make sure that your lifting is actually making progress and you're not wasting your time. Now basically what mind to muscle connection means is just what it sounds like, a connection between your mind and your muscle. So it means being able to flex or contract that muscle on command. So if you can look at your muscle and then give it a flex just like this, I am now connecting my mind with this particular muscle. And of course there are other surrounding muscles that flex simultaneously, but you're focusing just on that one muscle that you want to contract at the time. Now the reason this is so important for your lifting workouts is because certain exercises work certain muscle groups, yet if you do them wrong and you do them without focus or mind to muscle connection, you may actually be stimulating the wrong muscle groups. Things like your traps or your joints, your working areas of your body that you're not intending to work and then you're neglecting those muscles that you actually did want to work. It can be so frustrating to do a really good workout and then wake up the next day sore in places that you didn't want to be sore. And there's no better feeling than feeling sore exactly on the muscles that you're working to improve. So mind to muscle connection can be sort of summed up as that connection or that focus between your thoughts and the actual physical contractions that are taking place. So you really gotta think about and concentrate on that muscle that you're trying to work on. Of course, it doesn't have to be compartmentalized like that. You can also be using your mind to muscle connection in an exercise, say like the plank, for instance, when you need to be engaging your arms, your core, your butt, and your legs, all muscles in your body at one time, you can still be using mind to muscle connection there and basically distributing that focus throughout your entire body. Now I'm sure you can see it when you go to the gym and you see somebody working out with that mind to muscle connection versus somebody working without it, you can see the difference. And the difference is really in the focus, the concentration, the perfection of the form, all those little details that make it a really good and really effective lift. Versus when somebody's lifting really sloppy, maybe they're going too fast or they're using poor form or they're just neglecting any actual contraction of their muscles. There's really a big difference between going through the motions on lifts and then actually using them correctly with good form and tearing up those muscle fibers so that you can repair and come back stronger next time. Nobody wants to waste their time in the gym, so don't go in there and do a bunch of sloppy lifts. Just by picking things up and putting them down doesn't guarantee any results. You're better off doing body weight only exercises and doing them really precisely with perfect form and perfect connections than you would be to go to the gym and lift the heaviest weights possible with the sloppiest form. Stop paying attention to the quantity and start paying attention to the quality. Quality is everything. All right, so now you have a better understanding of what the mind to muscle connection is. Now let's talk about how you can start to build that connection and start to really understand and utilize it in your workouts. Now, before you start any lifts at the gym, I want you to first just practice flexing those particular muscles that you're going to work on. So say you're doing a leg workout at the gym. So before you start loading up any barbells or dumbbells or doing any intense exercises, start by just simply flexing your leg muscles. Flex your butt, flex your quads, flex your calves. Just do really concentrated and really focused flexes of each muscle before you start with any of your exercises. Now you can do this for absolutely any muscle in the body, particularly with abs. A great way to really train your abs to show and start to chisel up is to literally stand in front of the mirror and flex them in different angles and different lengths and see if you can make those muscles pop out visually in the mirror and that'll give you a stronger mind to muscle connection. As you guys know, I used to compete in the figure and bikini categories, sort of like bodybuilding. Bodybuilders and bikini athletes have some of the best mind to muscle connection of anybody in the world because they spend a lot of time flexing their muscles with and without weights, really building and securing that mind to muscle connection so they can make any muscle flexed and defined on command. Another way you can really strengthen that mind to muscle connection is to slow down your reps. 
Now I know when you're trying to burn a lot of calories and you're trying to increase the intensity of your workouts, the temptation is there to go faster and take less rest pauses in between reps and less rest between sets, but I'm telling you, your results will be better when your quality is high. It's not about the quantity or the speed, but focus really on that quality of each repetition and you're gonna get the best results possible. So slow your pace down to about six to eight seconds per repetition and really focus on on getting a full flex of the entire muscle that you're working on. I just can't say it enough how much the quality matters. Always, always focus on that quality over the quantity. So that pretty much sums up mind to muscle connection and know that you can use this on any workout program any workout available. We have tons of workout programs for you guys inside our membership site, teamlivelean.com. I also wrote an entire women's program that utilizes lifts that are perfect to practice this mind and muscle connection on. You can find it at liveleanformulaforwomen.com. It comes complete with a nutrition plan. And if you do these workouts the right way and really follow the videos that are provided, you're gonna get incredible results. So try out this 12 week program. You have nothing to lose, it's totally affordable. It's a totally done for you plan. I've been thrilled with the results from women all over the world so far. It just keeps getting better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to join our team for tons of recipes, tons of new workouts every single month, and just a really tight community of like-minded fit people that are all supporting each other and progressing forward. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode. And don't forget, keep living lean. If you're new to Living Lean, I really encourage you to get out there, get walking, do this every single morning, and you are gonna see the fat melt right off.